belt, the youngest belt winner in MCS history. Let's get to this game we've been all waiting for. The kick is away, and we have ourselves a revenge match. It is Clef the God taking on Noah here in the final game of Group C. Let's take a look at those abilities. TD, the, the most controversial one I've seen on the Twitch chat, it's that Agile Extender. Yeah, that Agile Extender is going to allow him to break some sacks from DBs. And when we talked to Clef this week, man, remember he said Mike Vick is everything to him. It's his most important weapon. Also, that Tory Holt, John Ross, he's going to have a lot of weapons with that playmaker ability in the slot from Tory Holt. And we know Clef, last couple years, he's been known for that West Coast offensive playbook, man. He's prolific. He's going to go deep. He's going to go short. He's going to do it all. And in the Miami D Dolphins defensive playbook as well. On the flip side for Noah, Bo Jackson needs to get going for Noah to win this game. Yeah, human joystick with Bo, Troy Polamalu on with Lurker, and that, you know, the Frank Clark and Troy Polamalu are key here. Those are going to be essential if you want to shut down Clef's high-powered passing attack. And we know Noah in that Oakland Raiders offensive playbook, he did not bring a quarterback to the dance, so we're going to see all those heavy formations and then the Green Bay Packers defensive playbook as well. Well, I know everybody in the chat, everybody here with our studios around the country, we've had this game circled all day long. Can't wait to see how this one turns out. Shout out to everybody out there who's been hanging with us all day. And don't forget, we'll have highlights of the Scheman and Lil Man match, which sure is, it's sure to be a fiery one uh, after this game. And it's going to be Clef the God. Starting off with the ball first. Out of that gun bunch. He'll escape with Vic looking downfield, but nobody open. Yeah, in that gun bunch. And you remember, Noah held Clef to six points in the Madden Challenge Championship. Clef obviously going to need more points than six in order to win this game. Very high powered. But Noah, first play, great defense. And on second and ten, outside of the pocket, he's looking for that crossing route. That's Josh Cribs. And he couldn't get the feet in bounds. Absolutely disgusted is Clef. He said he is so sick of seeing the replay, TD, of that game-ending interception in their Madden Challenge game. Oh, without a doubt. It's probably been eating at him for months. Like I said earlier, when someone takes the richest prize in our sport from you, that championship belt, that first place, that'll hurt you for months. And I know Clef has been dying for this game get, to get this going. Third down and 10, already a third down opportunity for Noah to get off the field. And for Clef, if he's able to pick this one up, get some early momentum. Only a three-man rush from Noah, waiting, looking, goes down the middle of the field, and there's Torrey Holt, and Torrey Holt has been a star for Clef the God here in Group C. Yeah, a little risky pass right there. He goes to the playmaker up the field, able to sneak it in there, able to click on possession catch to that playmaker, Torrey Holt. And that's a big play right there, starting off this drive for Clef the God. Yeah, talking about that loss, he says that's the loss that gives him the most motivation because it's the closest I've been to the belt. He said he's proud of how consistent he's been in his short two years of competing, but he still feels like he has so much more to accomplish, and a win here would be huge. And Noah, he's looking to lock this one down. Marlon Humphrey off the edge. Noah dials it up, and it comes clean off the edge for a huge sack. And now a difficult situation, second and long for Clef. It's going to go to that bunch flipped again. This game, the battle for the two and three seed is Holt to the left side. Nice catch, shake off a couple tackles, and he's going to still go. He gave him a little wave, on, a little Tory. stop and go, Come and he'll on, find Tory. his way to the 22-yard line. Come An eight-yard game turns into a Let's big go, play. Man. Crazy, a little check down to the whip route. He's able to break a tackle, stay in bounds, and then do some nasty stick work to make a big play happen. And now Clef, after just a few plays, already in business, almost in the red zone. Seems like Clef, in his second game, after losing to Lil Man in that first game, seems like in that second game, he was another level of locked in, TD. Oh, without a doubt. This guy, Clef, takes this very serious. This is his full-time job. He was a college football player, high school football star, coached co high school football, and now he's focused on the John. He's ready. He's, he's taken over. He's one of the top players in the world, and now he's going to roll out here with Vic and get out of bounds. I thought for sure he was going to try to hit that crossing route at the goal line. I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah, I thought he might try to thread it in there, but that's a smart play. Don't do anything crazy. It's the first drive of the game. You're feeling out Noah. You've had some great plays. You're in a great. You're in. You're in. You're getting points no matter what, right here. You don't want to take any chances. Clef, of course, hailing from Oak Hill, Florida. 
says he doesn't like playing at home because he likes the intensity of playing in person, the Madden psychology about it. But it doesn't matter how it happens, he just wants to make sure he puts that belt around his waist when it comes to ESPN2 next Saturday night, second and eight. Vic stepping up, Vic sitting down one more time. This time it was Jadavian Clowney on the sack. Noah is no stranger to bring in the heat. He dials it up again. So bringing the goons at Clef, and now Clef third and nine. I, I would expect Noah to bring the heat again. I mean, it's been working for him. We'll see if Clef can pick it up, sit in the pocket, and make a read. And on third down, it's Vic. You see Frank Clark utilizing that power specialist. He's going to take off with Vic, and he's going to slide down. Didn't want to risk taking a big hit from the hit stick master in Noah. Noah goes with the coverage defense, only rushes three. Clef not able to uh, get anything open. Great coverage. It will take off with Vic. Get down. He's going to take his points and get on defense. Yeah, big, big move there. Just getting points on your first drive. Guys, don't forget, we got Twitch extensions activated today. You click the red EA Sports logo for trivia, predictions, and polls led by the stat czar, Donnie Moore himself. Make sure you check that out as we take a look at the big play on this one. It looks like a simple short whip route to Torrey Holt, and Clef turned it into much more. Yeah, Marlon Humphrey can't come up with the tackle, and some nice stick work right there. Stop and go, Torrey Holt. That was a beautiful play. Just he checked it, he checked it down underneath, but able to get all that rack, all that yards after the catch, and able to get points on the board. Torrey Holt shaking off tacklers like it was nothing as Noah comes out on offense. And, you know, we, we've watched Noah a couple games, and we've seen two sides. We've seen Bo Jackson be incredibly effective, break some big runs, but it seems like it hasn't been quite as easy for him running the ball as it was at the challenge. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, the, the keys to this game, the question is going to be, Clef usually struggles versus the run. We saw it in the challenge finals versus Noah. We saw it versus Little Man earlier today. Is he going to be able to slow Noah down? Can Noah get that ground game back going like he did earlier? As Bo Jackson finds his way to a first down, picking up 11. And that has been the most successful run we usually see from Noah TD. It's, it looks like an inside run, but if he's able to get outside the tackles, it becomes dangerous. Yeah, so what he's doing is coming on that weak close flex formation, but he has two big powerful tight ends on the outside blocking for him in that twin set. He's able to kick it outside, usually follow those blocks, and uh, all that speed with Bo and that human joystick. And that, that's been his best play, this weak close halfback dive. 17-year-old Ellicott City, Maryland, first and 10. Bo Jackson outside, shoot string tackle to keep Bo from making this much worse than it is. Only a four-yard gain for Bo. Goes right back to that formula, that weak set with those twin tight end receivers out there. Just hikes it, follows the blocks, gets outside in that space, picks up four yards. And now Noah, you see him getting his energy back for his players, using some clock. Remember, Noah gets ball at half, so if he can use all this clock, take the lead into half and get ball, it's definitely very advantageous for him. Second out and six. Eli Manning, the newly retired New York Giant. Hands it to Bo Jackson. He's got a first bye down bye. and on, more. He's and he slow. gave a little swerve. And there it goes Bo down the sidelines. Just tripped up at the 15-yard line. But he gave him the old shimmy shake and found his way into the red zone. I think that goes Huge run by Noah. There's that stick work. There's that human joystick we see so much. Phenomenal run. But Clef getting lucky, or not lucky, but great play to make that shoestring tackle. That could be a difference in the game. If he's able to hold Noah to three here, that could be a huge play when we look back later on in this game. Noah does not have a single offensive lineman on his team below 90 overall. You think he came into this one thinking he was going to run the ball? 3-0 at the end of the first. Oh, without a doubt. And Noah, you know, he, he's trying to take that same strategy he used in the challenge. No quarterback here. Going to hand it off to Bo every play. But when you do that, when you have no quarterback, that allows you to stack your offensive line, stack your defense, and he's done exactly that. And even with that, he only spent 372 cap on the offensive side of the ball. Helps when you don't need receivers, quarterbacks, or tight ends. It's Jackson outside trying to find his way to the end zone. He'll get down to the seven. Clef has no answer for that weak formation halfback dive. And Noah's looking like how Volt did back in the club championship with this formation. It's one of the, better, one of the best run formations this year. Clef thinking about what he needs to do. He's got to hold him to three. 
got to think if Clef was able to see Noah's webcam, he'd be staring at that belt going, man, how close was I to bringing home my first belt? Clef doesn't like his line. He's going to take a timeout there. And again, I, I say it all the time, but I love seeing these pro players using those timeouts in the first half just when they don't feel like something's right. Yeah, you got to make sure everything's set up. And looks like Clef is going to switch to the run defense. We saw Boogs running, and I know Boogs went 0-3, but his run defense was pretty solid. Clef switching to that 3-4 that solid. He's going to get the D tackle at linebacker. Let's see if he has better, if he does better with this. Oh, come on. Come on. He's got Bo Jackson trying to find some room up the middle. And that has been where he struggled the most running with Bo. The inside runs have not been there today. It's when he's been able to get out into space. Yeah, definitely. He's been running a lot of inside zone calls, like dives, but then he'll take it to the outside. He doesn't have a lot of success when he runs straight up the middle, but he runs outside. And now we got a big third and one. Clef's got to stand up for himself. Noah looks like he's going to come out in the I-form tight. We haven't seen a lot from that from him with that today, but we've seen a lot of the I-form tight from Noah in the Madden Challenge. Third down and one. He'll go into that I formation. One wide receiver, and that's calling it generously. Tight end O'Shaughnessy in motion. Handoff to Bo Jackson right down the middle. And the red seat parted and Bo found his way into the end zone. Noah takes the lead. That was just too easy for Noah. I mean, there was no one up the middle. And really, the kryptonite for Clef has been his run defense. And so far in this first half, it's looking the same. He cannot get a stop when it comes to stopping the run. It's crazy to hear something like that especially in this game, in Madden 20, where the run game has been the meta the whole time. How is it possible that a player as good as Clef hasn't yet found a run defense that fits him? Man, I don't know. You know, it's tough. He's not really running that 3-3-5 wide D that we see so much as he goes to the little whip row right here. Clef's had a lot of success with these baby whip rows, but, you know, I don't know. I I'm sure he thought he had a great plan coming in, knowing he's going to have to go up against Noah, going knowing he's going to have to go up against Lil Man, but just not executing right now. Back to the air for Clef the God. You're not going to see a lot of passing from Noah. You're not going to see a lot of running from Clef. I think it... Maybe just about 100% both ways. As Vic takes this snap, let's rock by so Noah. Bad. Looks to he the wheel. So and Ryan Shazier's white guy. He's a lurker really and he's into the end zone. And Clef oh, having flashback oh. to the Madden really Challenge oh. final. What an adjustment by Noah. He manned up that running back from the opposite Dude, side. Clef throws it. Shazier with a huge pick oh, six. God. And like you said, Nick, this is looking exactly like what we saw in the Madden Challenge. As the kick is up, it is good. Clef with a nice first drive of the game, but 14 unanswered from the 17-year-old. And just like that, he is in control, and all of a sudden this drive to end the half becomes that much more important for Clef the God as we take a look at our Snickers intercepted replay TD straight up lurk. Cross man with Ryan Shazier, Clef with a bad read. Shazier came over kind of late, and Noah with a great pick six. And he's excited about it. Look at that emotion. First and 10 for Clef, looking to shake off that INT. Looking downfield, he's looking for Krims. Oh, Reed didn't get the feed and bounce, but it was almost back to back picks for Noah. Oh man, uh, just throwing it way too late. And now we're starting to wonder, hey, does Noah have Clef's number? Because this is not looking like how Clef usually does on offense. Second and 10. Vic outside of the pocket, being pursued, throws this one away. Oh, these last three plays for Clef the God. He looks absolutely shook. Noah's adjustments are exceptional in that he's in that like 2-3-6 uh, type formation and he's just running a lot of cover too, manning guys up, cross manning, switching his coverages. Man, he looks great on defense. And Noah, you know, he says he feels great going up against these bunch formations and so far here it's looking, it's looking like it's true. He said his key to the tournament was stopping Bunch, and so far he has stopped Bunch. Plenty of time left, though, for Clef the God as Vic drops back. Looking over the middle of the field, diving play. John Ross with the catch, and finally hits one of his own receivers. Great recognition by the people's champ, Clef, blocking, max protecting. Noah bringing the heat. Clef recognized it, sends out only three routes. He's able to hit that quick post to John Ross, who has that ability, and a big first down. Pick on first down, looking left side, that's Torrey Holden. That's been 
sort of the money route. You wonder, when will Noah adjust? Because you know at some point, the way his mind works, he's going to find some sort of defense that's going to jump that whip route. Yeah, I think Noah's more of an aggressive type player. If you're a conservative player, you might be okay just giving up that whip route all game. But I think Noah's going to make some adjustments. He wants all these pick sixes and all these turnovers he can get. That's a nice job by Clef there, taking the yards. We'll hit the two-minute warning. Clef the God on the drive. Cross midfield for the second time today. First and ten. The former Virginia Tech Hokey Michael Vick. Pressure off the edge. Didn't recognize it. And down goes Vick. As how about the screamer from Noah? It's Marlon Humphrey again. Yeah, bringing the heat. Noah switching up his coverages. Bringing the blitz on perfect situations. And Clef looks a little confused on here. He doesn't know when to match no, up. He doesn't know when to man, send out for. So oh! Get he out, looks Troy. through the whip Run route back. and we said it was going to oh, happen. Man. And there goes Troy oh Palomalu. Oh, Noah's about to ask Clef the God if he wants paper or plastic because he's got the bag. I think I just wasted capital. What a bag. And Noah has Clef's number 21 to 3. This defense is outstanding. Clef looks very confused on offense. And Clef the God going, not again, not again. Noah has come to play. It's no longer David versus Goliath. This is Goliath versus Goliath as he was looking for that baby whip route one more time. TD, what did he do? Yeah, he tried to throw the flats, and what a lurk by Noah. He ran over with that Troy P. That's why he has that lurker ability, and you saw it right there, a huge pick. Vic outside of the pocket, nowhere to go. Now for the people at home who may not be familiar with the X-Factor abilities, what does Lurker do that is so effective? Yeah, so you're going to be able to jump routes from either a further distance than you would regularly. It kind of just creates, he's going to jump higher, he's going to have more speed going to the ball. It's really one of the best abilities if you're using the middle of the field. I got some bad news right now, TD. I don't know, I, I hope you were, I know you were. Uh, user pick Clef in this game. It's not looking good for the Grim Reaper. Listen, man, I don't want user to ever pick me in any game in the future. Like, oh, <laughs> my God. I saw, we saw all the tweets, all the players are tweeting him saying, please don't pick me, please don't pick me. And boy, oh, man, I mean, he is the worst luck ever. <laughs> Listen, we had that last picture up after Clef's win. He's in his little duck floaty, and user swam over and popped it. Said, hang on, you're not swimming away from this flood. As here comes Noah one more time. This time it's Ryan Shazier. Second and 22. Noah's just getting anything he wants on defense. Clef can't do anything. And you got to think Clef is sick. I mean, he sat for months as he throws a nice little playmaker right there. But, I mean, this is a guy Clef, we go. who took that loss in the finals. Clef took that loss in the finals. I mean, and, you know, he's been this has been sitting in his head for months, and he's coming out playing pretty poor. Noah just looking phenomenal. If there's a consolation, it's that, you know, he knows that he's into the next round, but he wants to get off on the right foot. No, sir. Come on. First and ten, looking right hey, side. Oh, Ward didn't pick it. Torrey Holt right in front gets position. And now that runoff happens as he has no timeouts remaining. 17 seconds left in the half. Clef needing play. points. Yeah, Noah just knows everything Clef wants to do. It seems like he's expecting things before they even happen. He's all over that slant route. Clef able to... Now, this is a difficult situation for Clef. you got to be careful. you got to get this first down, and you got to spike it possibly, or you got to get out of bounds. It's going to be tough when you spike it. You might, because of the run, the run down in Madden 20, you might not have a lot of time. Yeah, maybe a 12-second runoff. Blitz picked up, throws it over the middle, and there's the lurker, Troy P, one more time, and he's off to the races. That was the read. Oh, no, to Noah. Lurker, 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 and more lurker. Another pick six. More phenomenal defense from young Noah. And oh my goodness, 28 to 3. I don't think anyone saw this coming in the rematch. Wow. Oh, the theme song of this game is Rihanna saying lurk, 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 lurk. 28 to 3. All Troy P putting up two touchdowns. Oh man, this is incredible. Noah just all over him, and oh, wow, I'm just in shock. I don't even know what to say. Well, if, if this is the epitome of a game that we're watching, where I think Noah is a guy who's looking for legitimacy, and I think, I mean, again, just in group play, I feel like he has really 
really earned his place as one of the top players. He's got a belt, and he's got a, right now he's dominating one of the top players in the game. Without a doubt, you know, if you didn't think Noah had a chance coming into this tournament, I think everyone does now. He's especially on the defensive side of the ball, this guy's got to be considered one of the best now from what we've seen so far in his young career. But, you know, I also want to wonder if Clef, you know, kind of just is getting comfortable. You know, he knows he's, he's, he's locked in. He couldn't have a chance at the bye. I wonder if that plays a part in this. 28-3 to three at the half. And if there's one thing... You know, I was asking Clef, I was talking because, you know, his dad is a big part of his life. You know, and I asked him, you know, what, what about his dad uh, does he use in his, his Madden career? And he said, listen, my dad was the one who really instilled in me the never give up mentality, the never satisfied mentality. A and he said he wants to make his loved ones proud by showing that. And if there's one thing I know Clef knows how to do, TD, it's shake off losses, go back to the drawing board, and be prepared for the wild card round. Oh, without a doubt. Clef is definitely a fighter. And there was a great article in the Daytona News about uh, Dakota Dixon, who's a Tampa Bay Buccaneers player, grew up with Clef. And he said Clef and his father, they're just wired differently. These guys are fighters. And, 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 Clef, and he said Clef will work hard at his craft. But as you can see, Noah just doing uh, anything he wants. Uh, Other people pouring water on yeah, the flood. Insane. Get your floaties. If your floaties oh, aren't oh, out oh. by this point, I don't know what you're oh, doing. Goodness. Noah's down to the five-yard line. Man, Noah has just such a beautiful formula to win here in Madden 20. He's running the ball, exceptional with that human joystick, Bo Jackson, and he's played some of the best defense we've seen all tournament. Well, when your defense puts 14 points on the board, Heel. that certainly helps. Uh, Troy Polamalu has been an absolute beast. Clef hasn't been able to get anything going offensively, and now so this is this is the worst part, TD, and and I, I know you haven't been in this position a lot, uh, being the great Madden player that you are. But when you're getting absolutely as, as I have, when you're getting absolutely clobbered, there's nothing worse than just watching the clock and going, "Is this game over yet?" Yeah, and I think you can see that exactly on Clef's face. I mean, if you just look at him, he looks he looks distraught. He's kind of hanging his head. It's just it's just rough for him right now, and that's the kind of feeling you, you just want to get this game over with. You know, you didn't play up to how you usually play or how you feel you should have played, and you know he just looks sick to sick to his stomach right now. There's one thing that Clef has: it's recent history on his side. Noah went one and two in his groups at the challenge, and he won the belt. And you know Clef's thinking, I, listen, right now, I'm miserable. But he's still got his eye on the prize. He still has a chance to win that belt. Oh, for sure. And look, these guys are going to have about a week off now until they play in those wild card games, or, you know, close to a week. So they're going to get in the lab. They're going to, for, specifically for Clef, he's got to figure out what he needs to do for this running attack and, you know, tune up that offense as well. He's looking right side. I know, I know his crew is watching this game and taking notes. They're going, how can we help Clef? reach the promised land as this game rolls on don't forget guys uh, we will have highlights from the little man and scheming game all these games video on demand on the madden competitive gaming youtube channel you can watch every game from this season and the madden bowl games are posted and updated as we finish through group play we got group d coming up tomorrow uh td if there's one bright spot of this whole situation we're in in the world and having to do this at home I kind of love that we've been able to extend the Madden Bowl to seven days and really get a little bit of Madden action each and every day. I definitely agree. I mean, we're, we have four days here in a row of just the 16 best players in the world going at it. I mean, we've had it's been four or five hours each day of just serious competition, talent, and man, it's been it's been a blast to be a part of. And I can't wait for tomorrow, Group D. We got some heavy hitters in there as well. And then we get to take. A couple days off, come back next Thursday, and, you know, we got all single elimination next week. High pressure, no more round robin. We get to crown a Madden Bowl champion. As Noah letting the clock run down. Ball is down, and the kick is through. 31 to 3. And I don't know, uh, listen, I, I don't even know if anybody in Noah's house saw this game going like it has so far. Yeah, I know, and we haven't seen a lot of talking from Noah, and maybe a little bit at the beginning, but the game's just been so in control that he hasn't had to say a lot. And, you know, Noah with that belt, man, looking like he has a chance at repeating, which would be the first time ever in the MCS. 
He's got that belt. He's got that sweet new era Madden Bull cap. And I know he's looking over that going, I want to replace that cap with the belt. I want to put two belts on the shelf here in Madden 20. As Clef back to work on offense. Vic stepping up, looking downfield and sitting down once again. And how scary is it that Noah has played both great run defense and great pass defense in this tournament? Yeah, and that's a scary thing. Like we said, he's got to be considered a top five, at least top ten defensive player we have in Madden right now. And then when his rushing attack is on with that human joystick, man, he's scary to play. This time, Marshawn Lattimore in on the sack. Third and 16 for Clef, stepping up with Vic. And look at the defense from Noah. It just seems like... He sees where Clef the God is looking, and he goes, I'm going to make sure that I have my user right there. Yeah, Noah all over him, and Clef just chewing clock now, trying to get this game over with. He had the post route wide open, but Noah there with the sack. He's going to punt the ball back, and Noah just going to run this clock out now. 31-3, to dominant, dominant performance by the Madden Challenge champion. Well, and let's take a look at this while this game is so out of hand. You know, taking a look at, at as Evan Rayner would say, 30,000 feet. I mean, you got Lil Man coming out with the bye. He was absolutely dominant in the two games that we saw here on stream. A and then you've got Noah, <laughs> whose one loss to Lil Man was certainly a, a closer affair than I think the score indicates. And uh, they're two crazy. very strong people coming out of this. And then you got Clef the God, oh, who maybe didn't play his best brand of Madden, but can put together a game plan in a week that everyone would be scared of. <laughs> Without a doubt, this group C is really good. I don't think it got a lot of credit coming in, but the three guys coming out of this group, I don't think anyone wants to play them. I think they're all great opponents, and I think they all have a, a, a great chance at making a run for this for this Madden Bowl belt. Uh, Noah's dropping back to pass. I think I'm out there running routes from, and he finds Bo Jackson. Can't hang on to the catch, but how about Noah at the end of the game breaking out the passing attack? I think I saw you at tight end right there running the streak, getting your workout yeah. in, Nick Mazesco. That's what I yeah. love to see, baby. I'm, I'm gassed. I'm absolutely winded now. I'm going to need to go take a nap because I got one round. My, my stamina rating in Madden is about a 12. It's on fourth and four. Clef able to get to the quarterback. He'll get the ball back. <laughs> and there's the first big defensive play for Clef, getting that sack. And now Clef just going to hand the ball off to his 10-cap Rex Burkhead and try to get out of here, man. End this, end this, uh, you know, bloodbath in a way, and just get ready for next week because it's, it's we start the single elimination, like you said, it's winner go home. Can't wait for that. Don't forget a full day of group play. The final group tomorrow, Group D action, starting at five o'clock Eastern time. Finally get to see the other, the actual youngest player in the tournament, slightly younger than Noah Henry in action. <laughs> Guys like Wesley in action. That that group D is gonna be, have some fireworks. That is some great offensive minds. Super excited for that one. We got D. Croft. We got Henry. We got Wesley. Those are probably three of the defense, the best offensive players in the world. Then you got my guy Rage, who most people would probably say is the biggest underdog in the whole tournament. But this is a guy in Rage who's had a great year, making a deep run at the Classic. So you definitely cannot count him out. Four great players. Can't wait for tomorrow's action. It's going to be a lot of fun as the chew clock is on for Clef. He's ready to get out of here, forget about this game, and get to work as he has until next Thursday for his next game. As This will seal up the standings. Noah will take the 2C. Clef takes the 3C. We don't really know what that means oh, yet man, with man, Group D still to game. come. But oh, he's, he says he's done. He's like, I just want to finish oh, this man. and get out of here. It is a final in 